to date, my personal favorite find is the Bushmaster, um, which now goes by many names, the cigarette snake. Has anybody heard that term before? So the, the thought was, if you get bitten, you only have enough time to smoke a cigarette before you die, um, which is not typically true. Um, also known as the headlamp snake, it's rumored that, I mean, well, I'll get into it in a sec, but it's rumored that they're able to follow the heat of your headlamp, and that's where they aim to strike when they're going to. So the Bushmaster is what is called a pit viper. So in front of the eye here, you can see that there's a little hole. And what that does, it's the heat-seeking pit, and it basically allows this snake to see an infrared. So it sees the heat signature of whatever is in front of it. So at nighttime, when it's pitch black, if a, a mouse or something walks by, everything else will be black or blue, but this animal, this warm-blooded animal, is going to glow orange or red. So that's the idea of the, the headlamp. If it sees this warm area, then that's what it's going to go for. Um, this one was surprisingly docile. Some of them can be quite aggressive. Um, but personally, I found it extra encouraging because I found this no less than 20 minutes walk outside of Parabara village. And in general, any type of viper species is loathed by Amerindians, and understandably so. They're dangerous snakes. But something like this is an incredibly uncommon species to begin with. And the, just the fact that here's an uncommon species around a populated area and has been able to survive c gave hope that there's a lot of other potentially uncommon species in the area that are just going under the radar. Um, but again, on top of why this was especially exciting, there were in the rivers that were near Parabara, one would expect to find large caiman and large river turtles, but they happen to be completely absent from this area, um, implying that they've been overhunted. So just the fact that we are able to have an uncommon species in a populated area, just it, it's an important find. You sort of like grew up in Guyana on you know Bushmaster stories, and so, so I was a little surprised when you said it was uncommon. It's the, like the one name we will know. And so did you mean uncommon in populated areas or uncommon in that particular area? Uncommon in general. Um, I mean, while they are somewhat known around you know, villages, you always hear the stories because of their reputation. But in the herpetological community, that is one of the, like, the, the golden gems that you just dream of one day seeing in the field because they are just not commonly seen anymore. And in part because they're frequently killed whenever they're found. Um, and I mean, they're, they're also the largest species of viper in the world. There's reports of some of them getting upwards of 12 feet long and you just, you never see something like that anymore.